Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of different work from home jobs you can do where a lot of your job is spent actually watching videos. So these could be a little more fun than your average work from home job. The first place you can find these types of jobs, you may have seen me cover them before, but it's threeplaymedia.com and they have a specific type of job where if you go to their jobs here, if you go to company and you go to transcriptionist jobs, you'll see something called a English voice writer. An English voice writer is essentially somebody who is going to re-speak what is being spoken in a live stream. So that means essentially if you're doing this job, you're gonna be watching a lot of live streams and you're gonna pay very close attention to the main speaker. And you're going to repeat what that main speaker is saying so that the captioning software can automatically generate captions for a live stream as it's going on. They do this so that everybody has the same level of access to the live stream. In other words, if you're hearing impaired or you're watching on mute or low volume for whatever reason, you can still follow along with the live stream. So they actually have a example of this as you can see here. If you click play, you'll see that you have somebody doing the live stream up here and then you have somebody from 3Play Media who is basically following along and uh, re-speaking what they are saying as it goes. So as far as a very easy type of job you can do with little to no experience or degree or anything like that, um, you see the qualifications here, access to a headset, computer, a strong internet connection, verbal and listening skills, clear, consistent speaking voice. Now you may have to dedicate up to 90 minutes at a time for this, so just keep that in mind if you're trying to do something outside of you know your regular a job or something like that. Multitasking between listening, speaking, and typing, managing projects, working independently, and completing a background check before starting work. That's basically all you have to cover here. Now, as far as what's like to work here, 3.8 out of 5 stars, 79% recommend working here to a friend. So obviously, pretty solid ratings, about 80% of people recommending it that have worked here. And then they don't have this specific job that I've seen on here yet. But if you look for like transcription, transcription editor, something along those lines, you see a, a range of typically anywhere from like 18 to $36 per hour in total. Now you have another company called Gaggle. Now Gaggle has work from home jobs where you essentially monitor online activity of students. And this is an example of one of the jobs you could get here. It's like a content reviewer. A content reviewer at Gaggle is a independent contractor who will basically be someone who monitors online content of K through 12, basically all forms. You're talking about obviously social media posts and things like that. And you're looking for anything that hints at certain red flags. So anything that looks like it is something that could be used to identify different red flag situations in a student's life like drug abuse, bullying, threats of school violence, teen depression, suicidal intentions, and abusive domestic situations. So you're gonna be looking out for, you're gonna be having to watch what they post online and basically make sure that there's no signs of those types of things. So you're basically trying to make the internet safer for students. Responsibilities, you would monitor and analyze student activity. Again, this could be a lot of different types of things, a lot of different types of content. Quickly and efficiently process content while maintaining a high level of accuracy um, this will be like 10 hours a week or so. These vary depending on which one of these um, listings you apply on. Escalate questionable findings to the safety team reps for additional in-depth analysis and additional tasks as assigned. Now, requirements are not usually too bad for these types of positions. They do want you to have experience using various computer and web-based applications. Interest and enthusiasm for reading as the position requires focused attention to reading various lengths of content as well as viewing it. And like again, it could be images, it could be text, it could be videos, etc. Experience with tech and social media culture. Outside of that, you don't see a lot mentioned in terms of like a certain amount of years of experience or anything like that. They do mention, however, experience with Slack or other business-based chat applications is a plus, but not necessarily required. So as far as additional considerations, again, you're just an independent contractor, so don't expect benefits or anything like that. Now, as far as what you earn at Gaggle, a typical content reviewer earns around uh, $37,000 to $57,000 a year. So you're looking at, you know, maybe the $15 to $25 an hour range or something along those lines. 
And then as far as reviews, 3.6 out of 5 stars, 61% recommend working here to a friend. So their reviews are pretty solid as well. Next, we have another type of job called captioning or subtitling. There's two actually separate jobs that you can get at rev.com that fit this, and they allow you to work whenever you want. If you go to the freelancer section, they actually have three main jobs that they hire for, for freelancers. Now you would basically be able to create your own flexible work schedule, choose your work. So for instance, if they have also like audio files, if you were to be a transcriptionist, but if you wanted to just work on videos or if you just wanted to work on videos that you thought were interesting, you could do that here. You can focus on what types of jobs you want to do. You get to choose them. So whatever interests you, there's going to be all sorts of different things on here. You get paid weekly via PayPal for all your work and you get to apply for many different countries. Now, as far as the transcriptionist position, you know, you, sometimes you will get to do videos, but this is also audio files as well. You'll accurately type what's being said and label the speakers. Captioning, you'll watch the video, accurately type what's being said, creatively convey sounds, and sync the typed audio with the video. So this is exclusively video, and basically you see like this text that pops up on the screen, and basically you're gonna be the one that makes sure that the right text is popping up on the screen as it's being spoken. And then last but not least, you have subtitling, which is very similar. You're going to watch videos, and basically you're going to have to translate the subtitles for those videos. Now, this one pays by far the most. If you're ready to apply, just click Learn More next to the one you want to apply for, and then they'll tell you average earnings. It comes with free software and all of that. So you just start filling out your profile from there. Now, as far as more information about Rev, if you're looking at, say, transcription or captioning, you can check out their review section here, and it's usually on the first page. You see that most of them pay very similarly. If you look at you know, the actual rate of how they pay captioning versus uh, transcription, you see that the rates are very similar. Maybe the, the low end is, is not as low on captioning, but otherwise it's about the same on the high end. And you're looking at it looks like you know the lower 20s to maybe the mid 20s. If you def if you factor in all of them, it could be any anywhere from 15 to around 30 dollars an hour. Now, if you look at say subtitling, they have a range. Now, I know this isn't hourly for whatever reason they don't do hourly when you ac actually click on a specific one. But 52 to 80 thousand a year, you're looking at you know possibly up to around. You know, I believe that's thirty-eight dollars per hour if you were to do eighty thousand a year, and divide that by, you know, how much that would be per hour. So you're looking at some decent pay here. And then, as far as reviews for Rev, you see three point six out of five stars. Sixty-one percent recommend working here to a friend. So they have solid ratings as well. Now you also have a company called Daily Transcription. Daily Transcription is a place where you can find all sorts of transcription, subtitling, captioning, and all sorts of other types of jobs like that. And they actually have listings. That's the nice thing about them is instead of having just a freelance page where everybody signs up the same way and you just join a talent pool, which means the more people in the talent pool, the more everybody's having to divide up the available work. With this one, they actually hire you for certain listings so you know what's actually active right now. Um, general transcription is one you can do here. And again, many transcription jobs, they allow you to watch videos and you're gonna basically type what's being said, label the speakers. Some YouTubers even use transcriptions and upload them to, to make their um, videos more clear to people and maybe audiences around the world that maybe speak different languages or something like that. But as far as the transcription section here and pretty much all their jobs, they hire mostly in the US, Canada, United, United Kingdom and New Zealand. So if you're in one of those countries, you should be able to apply here. Now relevant skills they look for for transcription. Again, this is general transcription. Usually they want around 50 words per minute. Uh, typing speed, this is something that's pretty universal across all their jobs. So if you have at least a 50 word per minute typing speed, great. If you don't, you can train that up at uh, typingtest.com, which is basically a free website where you both check how fast you can type and also improve it. Now, you all, you have basically uh, 10 to 30 hours a week. You know, they do want a little bit of experience for most of their jobs here. You are still a contractor, which should give you a lot of flexibility with your schedule. And the, the pay is a little unclear as far as like how, what they actually mean by this. 45 to $66 per, I don't know if that's per page an hour or per audio hour of material or what that is exactly. But as far as how this goes, you know, you're looking at 
some jobs where you might get paid fairly well. It's just, it's I'm not exactly sure what this P per hour uh, means though. So I'll have to basically just show you some reviews here in a second. But they also have AI editor positions. I don't know if you'll be watching a lot of videos with that though. Medical transcriber, subtitling and captioning. So they have this as well. I know I already kind of covered what you do in these jobs, but this is another place where they can sometimes have different subtitling and captioning jobs where you'll watch videos, you'll have to type what's being said, you'll have to make sure that the captions or the subtitles pop up on the video as it's being spoken. So there may be a little bit of editing involved, but most of this type of stuff is video related when it comes to subtitling and captioning. And then this is one to 10 hours a week, two to three years of experience and 50 to 80 dollars per hour of material so you see that's a little bit different per hour of material and that might be what they mean by most of these but uh wiggle transcriber i mean maybe you'll have some videos in there you have the general spanish related one broadcast list transcriber combined continuity and spotting list transcriber dialogue list transcriber lots of different ones available here now, as far as what's like to work at Daily Transcription, they have 3.7 out of 5 stars. 51% recommend working here to a friend. And when it comes to, say, how much people have said that they got paid here per hour of work instead of per hour of material, they're saying basically that they earned anywhere from around 17 to looks like about $27, $28 an hour. You see $33 an hour in that ballpark. So you're looking at what could be up to around the low 30s in pay according to reviews. Next we have something where you're going to mostly watch ads and you're going to make sure that the ads are, they look right, they are relevant to what's being typed in search engines and things like that. Now TELUS International, this is a company that has worldwide, or they have jobs around the world. They don't necessarily have a listing that's just for anywhere in the world like some companies do that you may have seen me cover but they do have listings in different countries throughout the world. They have a separate listing per country is how they do it. So I'm showing you the US version just as an example because I'm located in the US and I know a lot of you are as well, but they have these outside the US as well. So you're not limited to just the United States, but a personalized ads evaluator, it's gonna be called different names. So sometimes the one outside the US is called a slightly different name, but it'll still have the word ads in the title of the job. So just look for like, you can just type in ads in the search results and find something like this. But essentially they want people to be good with using the internet, good communication skills. And what you're doing is you are reviewing online ads in order to improve the content quality and layout. You will be required to provide feedback and analysis on ads found in search engine results and provide ratings on their relevance to the search terms used. Another aspect of this will involve reviewing the language used in ads by examining grammar, tone, and cultural relevance. So you are basically watching and reading ads and then you are making sure that they are performing the way they are supposed to given a certain criteria. Now this is something you usually do freelance or as a contractor. So just make sure that you are um, okay with the fact that, you know, one, you do get a more flexible schedule. You get to work your own hours as they tell you right here. But two, you're, you're gonna have to do like your own taxes and stuff like that. So. As far as the re actual requirements for a job like this, you must be a current resident of whatever country you're applying in. This will vary depending on which one you apply for. Um, you must have familiarity with your country's current and historical business, media, sport, news, social media, and cultural affairs. You also need to have full proficiency in this one. They do want English. I don't know if it's all going to still require English. A lot of times they do, even if it's another country. And then they'll also have you basically speak the the main language of that country as well but sometimes you may even just speak one language and it might be just you know like for instance if you are applying in like spain you might just need to speak spanish i'm not sure if they'll still require english or not it depends on the country experience and use of web browsers to navigate and interact with a variety of content so you're good with browsing i'd say most people that are you know somewhat you know young or up to middle-aged even probably have pretty good experience with just using browsers just because it's the age of the internet. 
access to and use of Android or iOS smartphone to complete tasks. A barcode scanner will also need to be installed and active daily user Gmail or other forms of social media. So that's one that you can do if you like watching videos and you're interested in working from home. Now another one at the same company is a little bit different, but it's called an internet safety evaluator. Now this is going to be kind of similar to the content reviewer at Gaggle position that I showed you, but a little bit different instead of instead of focusing on basically uh, what students are posting on social media and making sure that that's all safe. You're basically doing this for search engines in general. So this could be for, it could be for Google, it could be for Bing, it could be for DuckDuckGo. I don't know what search engine specifically they're gonna have you do this on or if it's gonna be a variety of search engines, but essentially your job is to help make search engines safer, make sure that search results are you know safer you know sometimes um, they'll have you know certain search results you have to like agree to see them if you are w about to view something that's maybe uh, a little bit more adult oriented or basic or something that is kind of a sensitive topic or something like that now that's kind of what you're looking out for in this job now this one they do tell you 14 dollars per hour this one is us based this will vary obviously depending on the country but as far as what they want you to do, you are going to have to be able to imp help improve online search results and are comfortable working on sensitive and adult content. A very important aspect of this role will involve reviewing the content of potentially upsetting or offensive material to make internet browsing safer and more secure to all viewers. So you are going to basically make the internet safer and more secure to the average audience um, and make sure that this stuff is not where it's not supposed to be, like sensitive and adult content. So again, this could involve videos, text, images, GIFs, all sorts of things. Uh, basic requirements must be resident in the United States. You must have full professional proficiency in written and verbal English. High school diploma or GED qualification. For cultural awareness purposes, you should be living in the United States or whatever country you're applying in for the last three consecutive years. Now they do have some preferred skills like Gmail, skills, familiarity with current and historical trends in your country, experience in the use of web browsers to navigate and interact with a variety of content. You must also have an understanding of various social media environments and dynamics including memes, virality and other trends, and access to and use of broadband internet connection and computer obviously. So. As far as what it's like to work at TELUS International, 3.6 out of 5 stars, 68% recommend working here to a friend. So I don't really see any red flags there. As far as the pay and how this goes, this can vary quite a bit. I showed you one of those that said $14 an hour. The other one they don't tell you. Now you can see that the range is very wide when it comes to the reviews of what other people have said they made here. So you see some people saying, oh, we made $32 to $58 an hour. Some people said $19 to $33. Some people said 17 to 27. Some people said 14. Well, that's customer service. That's a little different. 17 to 27. Content moderator, 16 to 25. You're looking at a pretty wide range. It could it could be in the teens. It could be around that $14 an hour. I don't see a lot that are much lower than that. But you see some that say as much as in the 50s per hour for some of these jobs. It just It's going to depend quite a bit on which one you do, what country you're in, and maybe even which listing it is. But in in general this is a company that has a pretty wide range of pay so i wouldn't be you know i wouldn't get your hopes up about high pay but it is a possibility as well and obviously the hours are going to vary quite a bit as well so even if it is higher pay it may not be the most consistent hours in the world now another thing you can do obviously is a video editor now usually video editors are one of those things where you kind of work like either for an individual or a company or whatever some sort of brand like a YouTuber or something like that or a podcast or you know there's all sorts of different types of video editor jobs out there but if you want something a little more flexible and part-time you can actually be a freelance video editor at will be localized right now now this is not a job that you frequently find here so if you are interested in this you might want to apply for this fairly soon because again this is not a job that's typically found here this is something that's kind of rare now, if you want to do this job, basically they want you to have a love for doing video editing. You're currently, they're currently hiring video editors to tell visual stories, and this is an entry level position, but at least one year of social media video editing experience would be preferred. So you don't necessarily have to have a lot of experience, but it would be preferred if you had one year of something related to that, especially if it's social media related. 
Responsibilities. Edit film snippets into a comprehensive story of the target audience. Trim these sections as needed. Input music, dialogues, graphics, and effects. Create rogue and final cuts and continuously discover and implement new editing technologies and industry's best practices to maximize efficiency. Requirements. Proven work experience as a video editor. One year preferred. Solid experience with digital technology and editing software packages. Now, as far as what a video editor might make, you know, I don't know if you'll be able to find that on here. If you look at the home page here, you don't really see that as one of the listings for salaries. If you type in video editor, it doesn't come up with any results here right now. Typically, a video editor can command anywhere from forty-seven dollars to $82,000 a year. So you're looking at possibly up to $40 an hour, but as low as around, you know, the low 20s as well. So somewhere in that ballpark with an average of, I would say, probably around $30 per hour. Now, as far as what it's like to work at WeLocalize, they have pretty good reviews as well. They're a very similar company to TELUS International, actually, but 3.7 out of 5 stars and 70% would recommend working here to a friend. Now, last but not least, we have a company called Appen. Appen is also fairly similar to something like WeLocalize or TELUS International. They have all sorts of just random jobs posted all the time. Now, these change quite a bit depending on when you check. These are not always going to be the same. So if you do see something you like, you might want to pounce on it is what I'm basically saying. But if you go to the social media section of their jobs page, a lot of times you can find these contractor positions where you're a social media evaluator. Now, these are going to be very similar to like a search engine evaluator or an ads evaluator, kind of like I showed you earlier. Now, I don't see any in the United States right now. So if you're trying to get one in the United States, it looks like you may be out of luck right now for this particular type of position. But I know I get a lot of views from around the world as well. So you may see your country on here. And if you do, you might want to, again, apply for this as soon as you can, just because this, this type of job, you never know how long it's going to be around. So if you were to click on one of these, like I'm just going to click on the top one just as an example, a social media evaluator, basically what you're going to do is you're going to elevate the standards of information shared on social media. And basically you'll play a pivotal role in shaping the quality and credibility of information online. So if you are passionate about promoting trustworthy content in the digital space, this might be for you. You will review and evaluate posts on various social media platforms. So obviously we know that social media is dominated a lot of times by videos and images, but also text as well. So you're going to be looking at a variety of content. If you like watching videos, great. You'll probably see a lot of them on here, and especially if you're like someone who likes to just kind of mindlessly scroll through social media and just see what's going on in the world. This could be a really fun job for you. You also identify and analyze the quality of information shared. So you're going to look for anything that looks like it's untrustworthy. And you're going to provide constructive feedback to enhance the content credibility from there. This one, $20 a week or 20 hours per week. Operating a social media account, you'll access, obviously you'll need access to the internet. This one, they want you to be bilingual. This may, this will vary depending on which one you apply for. Good research skills. Now this one says $3 an hour. Now obviously that sounds really low depending on where you live. But this is also in uh, what's like Libya. So I don't know what the scale is in terms of how far $3 per hour would go because $3, of course, that is in US dollars. I don't know how far that goes in Libya. If the cost of living is a lot lower in Libya, that might be fine. That might not be bad. If that's, you know, if you're getting paid $3 an hour in the US, you wouldn't be able to do much with your time here because the cost of living is kind of high. So it just depends on where you live, of course, whether or not that's good. Now, this is obviously going to vary depending on where you apply. Like here's another one. You can look at the pay here. This one's $5 an hour. So, you know, it just, it's going to depend on where you live. Um, as far as pay goes, but I'm sure they, they base that on the cost of living or, or whatever like the minimum pay is or something along those lines. I'm sure they have cert, certain ways of calculating what makes sense to pay for these jobs uh, depending on your country um, based on, you know, like I said, cost of living, what the minimum wage might be in those countries or things along those lines. Also, they're going to factor in the fact that you do not have to have really any experience or special skills to do these types of jobs. So you, I wouldn't expect a lot of pay no matter what country it is. But as far as reviews, 3.5 out of 5 stars, 64% recommend working here to a friend, which is also some pretty good reviews as well. If you want to know how much some of these might pay in the United States, most of these reviews are US-based, but 
just to get an estimate here. If you were to find one in the United States, you see a social media evaluator. This one says 16 to $25 per hour with an average of around 20. So hopefully this was an interesting video for you. Hopefully you got a few ideas from it or maybe some jobs you want to apply for. If you thought this video was actually helpful, please click the like button. It really helps me out. It helps me know that this is a good subject to cover for people at this channel. And also don't forget to leave a comment if you wanna ask me a question or suggest something for future videos. And outside of that, I'll see you in the next video.